This winter weather moving in in just a few hours from now will likely have you turning up your heaters at home or turning on your space heaters. But there are ways you can keep that cold air out and not strain your heating devices as much. Continuing our winter storm coverage this morning, WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinzith joins us live from a home in Surfside Beach with those tips. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, there are a lot of simple things you can do, and we're going to talk about a lot of those ways. But first of all, the worst thing is, and I can speak from experience, if you wake up and it is freezing inside your house and your heat went out, <laughs> that that's a bad thing to wake up to. But you actually have emergency heat. Mm -hmm. um, kind of explain that, what that is and show me how to use it. Well, basically, if you go over to your thermostat, you look down and you'll see a little setting for auxiliary heating. If you push this button over, you'll see a red light or, or a, a orange light come on, that will kick on your auxiliary heat and you'll start to get about 120, 140 degree temperature. And that way if your outdoor unit's not working, this will take over and compensate for it. Okay, so you just leave that on for as long as it takes yes. until you get until your you heater Until you get a fixed. service call and the technician will come out and, and inspect the unit for you. Okay, and you, you also mentioned something um, upstairs. We have uh, the registers are on the ceiling yes. and those actually don't pump down the heat? Well, we're on the typical register that we get, we've got about uh, four foot of throw. So during the heating season, the air is only coming down about four feet and going back into the return. So if you want to get more air and more velocity, and uh, these, these will throw it about 25 feet and uh, it can get it to the floor and make you comfortable. So the system's not having to run as much. Right, because heat rises anyway, yes. so it's just shooting out and going right back up. Yes. Okay, a couple simple things in that emergency heat that can really help out in an emergency. Uh, hopefully you don't have to go through that, but it really helps if you do. And I don't know about you, Crystal, but I just want to stay warm. Oh yeah, don't we all this time of year, Amanda? Thank you. As this cold air moves in through our area this week, there are some things you can do around your home to avoid turning up your heater and racking up quite a utility bill. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinzith joins us live from a home in Surfside Beach with those tips. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, we have a really simple tip for you, but first I want to show you Anthony from Carolina Cool brought a cool little gadget with you. And uh, what are we looking at right now? This is our infrared heat coming out of the floor register and it's distributing the heat up the wall and you can see in red and yellow how high it's rising. That's a good thing that heat's coming out yes. and it's rising. <laughs> we like that. We like the red, especially when it is super cold outside and almost white <laughs> with the snow and ice. But so this kind of tells you where the heat is going and if it's coming into your house. And um, something that we talked about is uh, filters can make a huge difference as far as where that heat goes and if it circulates around your house. Yeah, on your returns, you want to make sure you have the right uh, the right uh, filters for the air to go through so you can get the right distribution on your on your supply tech. It actually will restrict about 40 to 60 percent of your return air. This is the filter I have. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I will be changing this for this filter. I mean, that's a huge difference. Yes. It's restricting, you know, almost 50 percent of the air. So you switch to one of these babies and heat more heat around the house, Crystal. I like it. I have one of those myself, Amanda. Every little bit helps. Now, if we're up to the minute information on the storm's track and how it's impacting our area, just head to your website, carolinalive.com. You'll find an updated list of all the closings and delays, including private schools, daycares, and businesses. This winter weather moving in just a few hours from now will likely have you turning up your heaters at home or turning on your space heaters. But there are ways you can keep the cold air out and not strain your heating devices as much. Continuing our winter storm coverage this morning, WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinzeth joins us live from a home in Surfside Beach with those tips. Good morning. That's right. Talking about space heaters, uh, I've had to use this so far. Our heat went out. Um, we talked about that earlier, but there, there are a lot of things that can go bad when you use space heaters. So walk me through um, some, some safety tips here. Well, basically, you want to make sure as far as child safety, you, you choose the right heater, have it positioned in the right area, uh, away from furniture and any kind of walls, have the settings right, make sure it's on auto. Uh, it does have auto shut off on them and you can uh, make sure you keep the back vacuumed out, keep the debris out of it so it doesn't get to the heat strips. Okay, because um, Link, you said Link can go right yes, in there. Yes, right back in the back, it's actually pulling air through. Okay, now this one, I mean, this was a pretty fancy one, but how, how about this one right here? Well, the smaller ones, they're not going to do as good as this, so you, make, you need to make sure you use the right one for the square footage that you're trying to heat. Okay, and a big deal too is you don't want a lot of stuff around them, right? No, you, kind you of want, want to keep them, out in the keep open. them away, keep them out in the open. Okay. Yep. All right. Any any other good 
good safety tips for these. I mean, you hear about fires all the time, unfortunately. Yeah, you don't want to plug two into one outlet, so you want to make sure you get them on different outlets. Um, Okay. Just keep them spaced out. Yeah, and we talked about you know having the right filter. That's an important thing that helps the heat circulate through your house. And uh, we've got some more tips coming up for you next, Crystal. Thank you, Amanda. It's almost 636. As this cold air moves in through our area this week, there are some things you can do around your house to avoid turning up your heater and racking up quite a utility bill. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinzith joins us live from a home in Surfside Beach with those tips. Good morning. Yeah, and I tell you what, I can speak from experience that this tip right here will really help you a lot. Um, we're going to put plastic over the windows, and that kind of helps keep the cold air out in the warm air in, right? Yes. Yeah, and uh, you're holding a filter. Now, that's the good filter. These are the good filters. It'll, these will get more air through it. Uh, you'll get more air into your return, so you'll get more heat out on your supply side. Which is important. Um, and then let's go ahead. We can pull these off. And you said, you know, if you can get this at, you know, the local hardware store, Home Depot or whatnot, but people have even just used just these plastic bags, even if you're yes. in a, if you're in a dire pinch and you need to. So you just go ahead and put this up here, cover the windows, and there's all these little simple tricks that you can do. I mean the filter one, that's a really easy one too, that helps keep your house warmer. Uh, we also talked a lot about um, about space heaters, and you have to be careful when you use those. And if worse comes to worse and your heat does come out, well, be sure to check for that emergency heat button because that will get you through the next couple of days until somebody can come out and fix your heat if it breaks. Crystal? Great information. Thank you so much. Mannequins, it's reporting live for us.